paddle out. Stand up. And you sure it's safe and everything? Yeah, it's super safe. Start on our knees, and then like once you get going a little bit, we'll just stand up slowly, and then All see right. how it goes. Let's do it. And what, what's out. our position on sharks? What's how do we feel about that? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of sharks, so <laughs> if, not if a we fan. see a shark. We'll probably be in the same boat. Got it. All right, we're you're going to punch the shark is what you're trying yes, to say. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to paddle to safety. Whoa, we're paddle boarding. We're paddle boarding. All right. <laughs> Dude, I'm doing it. You are. You're fine. I told you, like, the lower center of gravity, it's easier. <laughs> Stop calling me short, bro. <laughs> Help me get my mind off of how nervous I am. Yeah. Let's let's do let's sit down for a second and do an interview. Okay. First of all, congratulations on your Thank new you. deal. Thank you. Yeah, I was happy, man. Happy to just like get it done. I, this is obviously where I started my career, and it just made sense, you know, to stay here. I feel like we have a lot of work left to do. You felt there was unfinished business. Um, I feel like when I first got here, there was like the Clipper curse of like, you know, all their first round draft picks were busts. So then you like break through that one, and then it's like, oh, they'll never make the playoffs. And then we started making the playoffs, and they're like, they'll never get past the first round. And we did that, and now it's like, you know, they'll never get past the second round. So it's just the next curse, challenge, whatever you want to call it. When researching for this interview, I saw a descriptor that keeps popping up for you. Mm -hmm. The often injured forward, the often injured clipper. Yeah. I don't mean to make light of it. Was there a specific injury that? Put you at your low point? My toe in the playoffs last year definitely hurt. Definitely hard to grasp that just because it was kind of such a, a weird thing. And you know, at the time, like when I first did it, like I thought, like, you know, they were saying, like, oh, your big toe, your big toe. And I was like, I don't really need my big toe. Like, can I still go? And I remember the doctor saying, well, no, we have to, we should get an MRI just in case, you know, something's wrong and, and it could be, you could make it worse. So I remember getting an MRI and, and finding out that I, you know, had a, had a tear in my foot. Do you still have the same explosiveness, or is it fair to assume you've lost a little bit of it? Um, I just, my game has changed, man. Over the years, I've, I've tried to expand my range, and so I don't nearly as, attack as much, don't get as much opportunities to roll. But yeah, I mean, at times, I think there's still, there's still times where I want to go up and finish. How's your stand-up comedy game coming along? I've always been a huge stand-up comedy fan, and um, living in LA, I've got a chance to see and, and meet a lot of awesome people, um, and, and it was a fun, fun opportunity to like get up there and do that, or try to do that. Tear away, tear away my tear away pants. <laughs> One flick of the wrist, it's time to dance. <laughs> Rip rippity, off you go, snip snap to the flow. A quick costume change before taking the court. I'm wearing pants. No, look, I'm wearing shorts. Are you funny yet? I'm not funny. I'm not funny. I, I think I enjoy funny things, but I'm not, not, not funny, funny personally. Yeah. Where's the steering wheel, Blake? Literally on his knees, going three times as fast as I'm going. 